Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you. And if you feel like the video just give you, you know, a good uplift or a good vibe that you truly, you know, you truly uh, can resonate, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It's greatly appreciated. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, it, it's all making sense. It's true. At least to me. You know what I mean? It, it is to me. You know, we are going through all these different stuff. And I know the first video I made was like uh, Summer Solstice. Um, it's like, you know, honoring the light in you. And it's just like, you you know, if you've been going through these really he heavy chapters in your life where it feels like, you know, it'll be intense one minute and heavy and downright, you, you just ready to just throw in the towel. God threw it back, wipe your face off. I ain't done with you yet. You're almost done. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of those different things. And it'll just start, you know, it'll start making so much sense to you. You know, a lot of times um, we can be in that vibe where, you know, why does this constantly keep happening to me? Why, you know, it just, it just feels like an avalanche of mishaps. And, you, you, you know, and it's just like universe will start getting on to us, you know, even though they can really understand, you know, why we feel that way at times. But it's just like. You know, we have to be that higher self of ourselves. You know how when you see in the movies where the person either gets slapped or they get the mess shaked out of them. And it's like, listen, you know, I, there'll be some times i got to give myself that tough love. And you have to be able to say these things are, are happening for your highest good. And a lot of times it's hard for us to have, you know, say that. It's hard, you know, depending on what you're going through. Because you're like, Roz, you, don't, you do not know what I'm going through. No, I don't. You know, I know what I'm going through, you know, and I had to be able to tell myself it's all about our way of thinking, you know, how are we thinking about these different things that's going in. And a lot of times it's hard to do that when you got so much going on at one time and universe it will always remind you in so many different ways through other people, through social media, you know, through books you read, you know, this is not for the faint of heart. And if you, if they didn't hand you this, this type of life, they, you know, if they knew that you couldn't be able to handle this in some kind of way, they wouldn't have been able to toss it to you. Because they knew if you were going to be that type of person and that was going to be that weakest link, they wouldn't have gave you the stuff that you're dealing with right now. Now, a lot of times, you know, or mommy, and that's saying, I know it's just like, God ain't going to give you nothing you can't handle. But obviously he thought I was a badass for him to be giving me something like that. He almost thought I was superwoman for him to be giving me the stuff that he gave me. You know, and it's like if they, he don't get you, you know, if he's going to make you go through it, he's going to get you through it. You know, take you to it, he's going to get you through it. And, you know, a lot of times you have to be at that, you know, that point where you have to be able to tell yourself, you know, this is it, it's just a, a starting of something unfolding. You know, a lot of things that we go through, it has a crazy ending to it. You know, if it's if it's closing off crazy, uh, bad, crazy, hectic, crazy, just any kind of heaviness of crazy is going to open up something beautiful to you and because it's like it's it's taking people out of your life that you learn life lessons from either it's just the lessons has been learned they're going or uh it'll be the different people that you know is you're seeing the true intentions of people that you you cared about in your life you know or you see that these people didn't have good intentions for you or they, they would have been the type of one that like this set of folks gonna hold you back you know, and you have to be selective about who's in your circle. You have to be very mindful of, about these different things into your life. You're going through different things where it's showing you to be stay solid on your boundaries, especially with yourself. You know, allowing yourself to disconnect from toxicity, not just from people, but from yourself. You know, um, things uh, have things that are taken out of your life is making room for something better. You know. Um, these are the different things is, is showing you where you place in love into yourself, you know, being secure within yourself, you know, knowing your worth, you know, knowing you are enough, regardless of what people tell you, how people treat you, you are enough. You know, if you know you've been going in hard, you know, not waiting, not waiting, don't sit up here and write down a manifestation and don't put in the work for it because it's like everything 
that we're going through is putting us, us us on that elevation of where we're completely aligned to whatever universe and God has for us. And for us to do that, you have to be able to have to match that energy for it. We can't, you know, be trying to open up something new and we still holding on to the old. You can't want something good into your life if you still hoping bad for somebody else. You know, and all those different things are still holding grudges, not forgiving people, you know, being nasty, all those different things. And it'll start making sense for you. You know, you want peace in your life. And, you know, it, it, a lot of times we want materialistic things. You know, that's that's anybody, you know. You want materialistic things. But they tell you materialistic things is not based on everything. They don't want you to be superficial and shallow about different things. But they do want you to be able to have a life where you can be able to do things that are, you know, where you can have a comfortable lifestyle. And for that to happen, they're, they're placing you on your purpose of whatever you're facing, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're trying to overcome, you're healing from, you're working towards. You know, if it's impacting your life in a positive way, they're placing you on, on, a, on, on a vibration to where it's not just going to impact you it's going to impact other people you know you you going through different things you're going to be an ambassador of something a leader of something you know um being able to help other people in need you know there's different things you may have suffered from there's different things that you uh, may have uh, come into contact with that really shook you to the core and you you had that vibe where you you say i never want anybody to feel this way you know, or if I had my way of doing things, you know, I would make sure nobody didn't goes through a certain situation like this. It's like that pain that you had. You never would wish that on your worst enemy. And when you're doing that and you're seeing that, those are the things that, you know, that is what is creating your purpose. You know, you have a good heart or you've been going through things to try to find that heart that you have, you know, if, especially if, you know, you're going all in. And it's just the fact, you know, when, when we're pushing out positivity, you know, you're doing things on the up and up. You know, you're doing things on the up and up. And when you're doing that and you're working hard and you're going all in, a lot of times the universe is telling you, go sit down, go take a rest. We don't see you do, you know, you putting in, you doing your work, but now it's time for you to rest, you know, do some self-care, go walk in, do, you know, other things, you know, have that time to yourself so you can self-reflect, self-assess. Self and, you know, when you're putting all in that work, you know, it, that's when it's telling you, you know, that good is going to come to you. And a lot of times it can feel uh, very challenging when you know you're pushing out good and all bad comes back, you know. And that's where the challenges are coming in at because there's a lot of times when we when we setting in stone like I was doing the uh videos about the rituals uh of revelation, spiritual rituals of revelation. And it's like you putting something down saying, Okay, I wanna heal from toxic vibrations, I wanna heal from toxic, you know, connections and stuff like that. And you'll start facing every toxic thing that you hold within yourself. And it'll be that challenge. And it'll be just like, okay, maybe I didn't love myself or uh, maybe I didn't have that confidence in myself or you know, it'll be different things like that. And it, you're all these different things are coming up to, you know, coming up to the surface that is like very uncomfortable. And you're trying to understand why these things coming up. It's like if you want to heal from toxicity in any form, we first have to start with ourselves. And when we're doing those different things, we're healing. We're allowing ourselves to hold accountability. We're taking action. You know, facing these things that we face. What what drags us? What what keeps us? What keeps us in that focus of what we feel like we can't let go of? Because a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to forgive things because it's like, um, especially if you've gone through some kind of abuse, it's like when the, the forgiveness is like you're saying, giving, uh, you're condoning what was done to you, and and it's just like I, I've been like that. You know, and it was like condoning what somebody has done to you. It's like, no, I'm not condoning to that. You know, why am I going to forgive them? They weren't sorry. You know, they kept, kept on continue to do it. And it's just like, for us to be able to have peace, this is not for them. This is for you. You know, they're not losing sleep at night. They probably, you know, hip hop parade because the fact is they dragged you like that. Now it's at that time, you can say, thank you. I needed that. You know. I, I needed that in my life and it's like I needed that because it, it's allowing me to know that love don't feel like that it allows me to know that nobody deserves to be abused you know because it depends on certain ones you go well I feel like any of them it makes you feel dehumanized 
you know when you go through different stuff like that and it's just like when you know what that felt like you know how it trained your mind you know because a lot of times when people go through that they have trust issues they don't let people close to them you know um and, and it just makes you feel like everybody that's coming to you have bad intentions ill will towards you and it, you know it's hard for you to be able to see somebody as a decent human being when all you have felt is all those different things so when you have gone through that and you know what that felt like and you finally you know face that you face the demons in your closet you face the monster up under your bed and then you've gone through those things that i mean it really put you through it you know dark night of the soul I mean, it's like Dark Knight of the Soul towards, it, it's like Dark Knight of the Soul meets Saw. You know, Final Destination, all those things, all the most worst, creepy, scary movies you can put together <laughs> in one, trying to heal. And those are the things, when you finally did heal, you knew what it took. But a after you made it through that, you became stronger than you ever before. You project beast vibrations out like, I can't be touched. Yeah, I can go through something, but I'll get over it real quick, you know. I faced a lot of things, but I overcome it real quick. And those are the different things that, you know, it is taking place into your life. And then it's just like, you'll get into that mind frame. There's so many people out there like me. There's so many people that are facing these things like me and pro probably don't know who to go to, who to trust and stuff like that. And that's where universe will get your mind to work in. And all these different things and you'll look back and say I understand because it was just like you know I, I was always told towards myself when I was facing a lot of things I'm like why did this happen to me why you know how could this you know and it's just like this even though it happened to you it wasn't about you it's about the people that you're gonna come into contact with it's gonna be about your purpose that you share with the world on different things that you face that lets other people know that they're not alone and for you to be able to do that, just for you opening up and, and telling these different things into your life, it makes you, it'll start having you searching for the answers that you, you've always had, you know. And, and for you doing that and you're helping other people, you're helping yourself at the same time. And then you'll understand it start making sense to you about these different things and about people, you know. Because there'll be a lot of times you've got people coming up to you wanting to tell you their life story and trying to figure out like, why are these people keep telling me their, their, their life story? Why do they keep coming up and telling me these different things? Like, I didn't ask them. But something, you know, universe guided them towards you saying that this person is a really good listener. This person has a really good heart, you know. And a lot of times we second guess that when you go through a lot of different things. And they're telling you, they bring that confirmation in and showing you, you know, you got a good heart. You're a good person. That's why I sent these people to you, you know, because they know that you can, you know, you'll probably tell them something good when they're going through a struggle or there'll be certain things that, um, you know, um, somebody know you need some encouragement for. And then you're that person that always uplifts people, you know, and then you're just trying to understand all these different things that are, you know, taking place. And it'll start making sense on why I had to go through this, why I had to go through that, you know, why it takes so long, you know, just like it's, it's like if you're you're waiting for something to come in, it's like, why did it take so long? And you have to be able to self-assess and ask, you know, were you, you showing attitude of gratitude? Were you practicing patience? You know, were you, um, were you working on your growth? Were you working on your healing? Whatever, you know, held you back, were you working on releasing that? You know, all those different things. You know, if you're working all them things, I really don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know, I really don't know what to tell you. But it'll be different things where you're asking questions like, you know, why is the positivity not coming in? And it's like, are you on that negative vibe? Are you, are you holding on to things? Um, are, are you thinking positively? Are you do you find solutions in the problems that you got to constantly face are you um allowing yourself to move freely into the con you know the obstacles that you come into contact with you know and they and it's just like when we go through those different things like that universe knows it's not easy to face a lot of you know face obstacles all the time you know it'll be sometimes it'll just like it'll come in repetition <laughs> you know, you're just really trying to understand. And you're just really trying to get into all these different things. You know, or, you know, you're trying to find love. And uh, maybe you've been in, in relationships that weren't that well. 
you know and then it, it's just like those relationships that, you know because a lot of times we can feel like oh I wish I never met that person oh wish I never do that and the universe always tells us everybody that we meet was on, on purpose you know it can be the worst of the worst and it can be on purpose these are the things that we needed to know I say it a lot of time in my videos it's like whatever you're lacking within your life is going to put you in that situation to overturn that you know it's like your weakness is going to be your greatest strength and you know it could be you know you're in a situation where you don't have patience the universe is going to put you in a situation where you have no choice but to have patience you know if you you know if you're lacking love for self you know we 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 give love out you know a lot of us empaths are, are really heavy on that we'll put a lot of love into other people and a lot of times it's not reciprocated and then when it comes time for us to put it in ourselves and at the left, you know, so they'll put us in situations where you have no choice. Like you'll see the situations that, you, you know, the, the people that you picked, um, the decisions that you made, it wasn't based on love. You know, you sacrificed that, you know, love should never be sacrificed. If, if there was love there and that was reciprocated, love will never ask you to sacrifice love for that. Happiness will never be sacrificed. Self-respect will never be sacrificed. You know, all these different things, your worth would not be sacrificed. So it's like when you go through these different things and you're like, no, I demand to be loved. I demand for my respect. You know, you start putting solid boundaries now. Anything that doesn't uh, reciprocate with what you're trying to push out, you're not going to deal with it. You dealt with it before, you know, and then those are the things now you'll understand why I had to be in toxic relationships. Why was I in relationships and connection with people? Maybe I have manipulated or I was being the person that was manipulated. And you get to that point where you, you, you'll you look back and you'll see the situations where you see the, these were clearly not your friends. <laughs> you like, that's not your friend, you know, or you can clearly see that wasn't a person that you were, you were dating that was love, you know. And you can be able to look at that, you know. It'll be, you can even go back and look at certain text messages with it, you know, that's not good to do. Don't be reminiscing on stuff like that. But if it just so, like if you screenshot, we you know, us, we good on screenshot and stuff. And it could be a, a, a old text message that you screenshot it and weren't able to see it then. But then you can see it now, like clearly this was some kind of manipulation or clearly this person was not, you know, just the way they responded or just the situation they put you in. That LOL is not every time there's a LOL, there's some kind of uh, seriousness behind that joke that they're making, you know. And those are the different things where it, it's just like you'll understand you'll understand why certain things happen you know it, it'll make sense to you like i had to go through this you know it you could be a person that loses friends every five minutes you know was the friends in your in your circle truly your friends you know because a lot of times it's like it's not saying that everybody that comes into your life and come into contact with you is not genuine there's a lot of times people come into your life for different experiences they tell you people come into your life to love you to teach you to hurt you to abandon you, neglect you, lie on you, you know, put you in some kind of crazy deception, you know, and, and we have to be grateful for all those situations. And then when we're doing that, you'll, you'll learn these life lessons because it's just like and when we go through all relationships or any relationship with anybody, being able to not be comfortable, get comfortable with collecting red flags, you know, I had to learn that one, you know, because I was just like, dang. You only need one. That one to head your butt out, out the door. Because it's just like with mine, it was just like I had to get at that point. And I had to laugh at it myself. And I was just like, Lord, please, I wasn't trying to say it in a negative way. But when you got people leaving your life so much, you know, you tend to, you, you, it's like, uh-uh. I, I, when I see that one, one okay, I, I'm out. You know, and just going about my business. And still, you know, not even have, you know, not even take it personal. Not take it um, the hard way. You know, not taking it in a bad way, just saying, hey, you know, we, we had our experience, you know, we learned our lessons, you you helped me, I helped you, you taught me things, You taught I taught you things, it's a teacher-student situation, and it'll be the universe saying, you know, it, it's time, it is just like, it doesn't have to be in a bad note, and sometimes it is, because it's like, a lot of times, I don't like cutting things off but if like universe is telling me hey you learned your lessons from this person or you 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 were that guy for a short period of time they're at their peak to where they don't that you know they're they're moving on to their next guy now they're going to be a guy you know and those are the different things and um and you you have to be able to allow yourself to say you know you, you only person that we can depend on is ourself and god 
you know, they always tell us, don't ever put our faith in people. And, then, you know, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but they say, don't ever put your faith in people to disappoint you every time. You try not to be a disappointment with yourself, but you, you, you have to deal with you, you know, because that's you. But, and God, God's never going to disappoint you. Even though a lot of times it may feel that way, God's not going to disappoint you. But then it's just telling you from that life lesson to be able to appreciate the now. You know, enjoy that person while they're in your life now. You know, and um, just allow it, let it do what it do. But it would be just times where, you know, you're at that point in your life where you're peaking and you can look back and just see the life lessons. And, you know, even though you still got a ways to go or, you you know, you, you doors are slowly opening for you or whatever it is, you'll start looking back and be very grateful of everything that you have faced. It brought in so many different lessons. It, you know, it helped you get to a certain vibration or whatever. And, it, and it's just really being able to help you to, you know, just say, wow, you know, I'm grateful for everything that I've gone through. You know, because it's like for a long time, I used to always say it was negative and positive. Now it got to that point where I had to be able to say it's neither negative or positive, even though it could have been that way. But it was just the, the growth of maturity that I had. It was just like it was just a life lesson I needed. You know, it's just like we have to be able to change our verbiage. We be very selective. You know, it's like you have to be able to say, look at the bigger picture. It's not negative or positive. You, what did you learn? They always tell you anytime somebody separates out your life, remember the lesson that they left you with. And those are the things that, you know, you'll you'll truly appreciate. You learn from those people. But there'll be certain things I'll look back and be like, Dag, I'm glad I, I went through that. You know, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And I got a lot of them other suckers. <laughs> you know, I said, I'm wishing I'm my worst enemy, but I'm glad I went through it. Because if this mess comes up and keys up again, I already know the stage left even. Yes, I know I pointed right, stage left even. You know, and just be out of it and going about my business. And just be able to, it, this too shall pass. And these are the different things that you'll really learn to grow. Um, on things that will really get you through moments. You know, because I feel like we, we go through a lot of hard times in our life. But a lot of times, those hard times don't be as bad unless we, we create it to be a lot worse. And, you know, I'll be telling you, know, I'll make a mountain out of a molehill. I'll be sitting here crying over to build milk at, at times, you know, when it was just a little something or something. But I created it to be something, you know, and a lot of times that's where we fall at. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to my, to my fam, uh, Timberwolf. So much love to you. And um, Thomas Woodward, much love as well. I hope um, y'all are all having a blessed, prosperous week. We're heading into a weekend. I can't believe it's Thursday already. The time don't went by so fast. I can't believe it's almost July. It's time been going by fast. Um, I will be having, uh, what is it, Hayoka Live Chat tonight at 7 o'clock. You know, I'm hoping this video comes out before that time. So it won't be last minute. But I forgot to go ahead and make a post to it. So, um. I'll be going ahead and do that. I think it's uh, Georgia's Eastern Standard, Pacific Standard Time. I can't remember. I got to look it up before I make the post. But I already uh, made it up there to where it can, you can get notified when it comes comes on. I'll be doing that. I haven't done it in a long time. And, I, you know, I really wanted to start that back up. You know, the universe told me I got to be social. So I was just like, man, look, in Georgia, it's like 150 degrees outside. I'm not going outside to be sociable. It's too hot. It was like be having a, my heat stroke, be having a heat stroke. I'm not about to do all that. <laughs> it was like, I'm not about to do that. It's hard to just take toenails outside. I'm not about to do that. So I said, I'll just go ahead and do it in here. I really love to interact with y'all. You know, we speak about different things, you know, um, start having different subjects. We were talking about, you know, just th things that we all deal with, you know, trying to stay focused on the foundation. We're trying to, you know, trying to build instead of focusing on fear, you know, um, uh, healing from um and hearing uh, healing your inner child and you know breaking away from toxic uh your toxic past and stuff like that so just very nurturing things you know like i said before i like on my my channel to be able to be positive and nurturing and and uh, apply growth i just don't have time for negativity and trolls i don't because <laughs> i'm not gonna pay attention to y'all but you know just being able to allow myself to start that back up again 
you know, uh, and just being able to do that. I love to be able to do it. It's very therapeutic, not just for me, but I love when people come back and tell me Rosalind is like those chats are very therapeutic and I really enjoyed it. And just being able to know that you can have convos with different people that you don't think like us and it's just really a, a blessing. But like I said, I'm not dealing with trolls. I'll straight block and keep going and not even pay attention. But um, that'll be at 7 o'clock tonight. But um, what else I was going to say? Oh, yeah. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all, all about spiritual networking. A lot of people don't feel comfortable with, you know, leaving whatever they're facing, you know, on the tube of you. I understand that um, on a, a public forum. So people hit me up DMs or uh, email, you know, and I try my best to be able to help. It's all about just furthering your purpose or having a deeper understanding of your purpose and just being able to have somebody to talk to you can really relate to. And it, I mean, that feels good when you can be able to do that. And it's a blessing when we can connect with that. Just be able to say, hey, I got you. You know, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm there. You know, a lot of times it's hard for you to understand what other people are going through or you fear judgment, you know. Because it may be different times you don't talk about something and somebody made you regret on saying anything. Now, I'm that type of person. I, I don't do that. I tell people, you ain't touching little kids. You ain't hurt, harming old people. We good. Or, or, or animals. You know, we're good. Uh, you know, other than that, I just don't, I don't have any problem with nobody but i'll try to help out the best way i can and whatever we speak on is confidential and um if you're ever interested in podcasting i'll leave my link to my podcast as well i really enjoy that you know if anybody ever you know wants to you know uh podcast i would love to be able to help out because i mean it's really simple and plus it's, it's just like stepping out of the comfort zone to do something different that i would really really truly enjoy so, um, and if you ever feel like um, you're generous enough to drop a donation, I'll also leave my cash app address there as well. And I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your reality, into your fruition, you know, I'm sending you millions and millions of vibes, whatever you're needing to get through that. You know, stay consistent and persistent, you all. Keep on going. You know, it, I know it gets hard at times when you're, you know, you're trying to face things or you're trying to bring something out that, you know, it can really be good for you. And it's going to happen. You just keep, you know, you just keep doing what you need to do. Keep being persistent no matter what, you know, your surroundings look like. Don't, you know, just keep moving. Never give up on yourself. You know, that's what the devil wants you to do. Um, what else is I going to say? You know, and it can be coming least than you soon, least than you expected. The least time you expected. I forgot how to say that, but the least time you expected. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, even through social distancing, sorry y'all, I've been up since 10 o'clock 10 o'clock last night and still be on the move. And I'm like, okay, I had a blank. But um, yeah, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know all those things to really, you know, take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say grand risings and peace and namaste.